Soviets have a new sports training technique that many American athletes are putting to use now. And in the second part of our series this week, fitness correspondent Kathy Smith is going to tell us about it. Well, Jane, the Soviets call it plyometrics, or plyo for short. And this is not something that you're going to take off and start doing or a weekend athlete. But it does have top trainers and athletes around the country jumping to attention. So let's take a look. This is a rehearsal for Tough Stuff, a video for fit people who want more strength. This video featuring actress triathlete Tracy Scoggins consists of a lot of high and deep jumping, a conditioning method called plyometrics, which is relatively new in the U.S., but which has been used by the Soviets for years to train their Olympic athletes. I wondered why at the Olympics we hear so much of the Soviet and East German national anthem, and uh, I wanted to find out what their edge was, and I think this is one of the reasons that that they have an edge. They've been doing this for 30 years, and it's only this year come here. In fact, it, the term plyometrics is so new here that it's not even in the dictionary. I can get strong out here without lifting weights, and I, that's what I really like to do because I don't like to lift, and I think this is a, a one way to do that. So. The Soviets realize that there's a moment of explosiveness, such as when the foot touches and leaves the ground, that's the basis for power in all sports, and they have devised ways to increase that explosiveness. This method involves a lot of jumping, sometimes even from a chair down to the ground and back up to a chair again, and incorporates the body's protective mechanism known as a stretch reflex. Now take this rubber band and imagine it's a muscle. You pull it back a little bit and release it, and there's a little bit of spring. But now imagine pulling it way back, as your muscles do when you jump real high. There's much more explosiveness when you release it. Though most people have never heard of plyometrics, in Southern California, there's an exceptional high school quarterback who's been training with these techniques since he was 14. Todd Marinovich has passed for 9,194 yards in his football career, more than any other high school player in history. He owes a lot of his skill to his trainer, Dr. Michael Yeses. Yeses has spent the last 28 years translating the secrets of Soviet sports training from Soviet journals. The Soviets are more successful in their training because of the use of science. They are very scientific in their approach to training. They don't just do it health to skeleton more or less the way we do or do it the way they were trained 20 years ago. They're training to perform like no one else has ever performed before. This is what you must do if you want to break a record. Using Soviet training techniques, special training equipment, some of which he's designed himself, and of course, plyometrics, he has trained Todd to be the best quarterback. Okay, you have to follow a particular progression. You can't just do strength training year round, or plyometric training, or whatever it might be. So everything must be done in certain times in progression, because every athlete has his own peculiarities. And then I mold and make specialized exercises to fit that person's technique. Although the Russians have not studied football, their techniques are valid for any throwing motion. Yesis has taught Todd how to rotate his body so that the ball takes thrust not just from the arm, but from the shoulders, hips, and knees. Another heavy one, minus 1.2. Today he is showing Todd and his dad a new technique with weighted balls. This is a method I, I picked up from the Soviets. When you throw the heavier ball, it requires maximum utilization of all the muscle fibers. They're all firing and they're all tuned up. And then when you throw a lighter ball, your muscle is prepared to throw this heavy ball again, but you faked it out. So then when you throw the light one, you're throwing it with much more strength and explosiveness than you did, just as you did with the heavy ball, but the heavy ball being heavy didn't go that far. Do these Soviet techniques figure in America's future? Well, Todd's father, who has been his devoted coach, feels that this is the way all our young athletes should be trained. Uh, I don't look at the way Todd is trained as an experiment. I look at it as, as the way that, that all athletes should train, a systematic uh, uh, effort to, to produce the best results. And Dr. Yesis feels that if done properly, these methods can help any athlete. All fans, everybody who plays any kind of a sport, they can gain a tremendous amount by doing plyometrics. This doesn't mean that tomorrow they're going to go out and start doing plyometrics. If they do, I'll guarantee an injury. First, you must lay a very strong strength base and then do the plyometrics. And if you follow this progression, then 
you'll find yourself jumping higher, making quicker moves, running faster, and just being an overall better athlete. Just a little, little reminder, this is not for everybody. It's not for the weekend athlete. But tomorrow, we're going to be profiling a company that takes business executives and it actually puts them out on a limb. And I mean that literally. Oh, we'll see what <laughs> you mean. And the time comes. We'll be back after a message.